Good afternoon, uh, everybody, and welcome to our Springbok Media Conference. Uh, we've got uh, assistant coach Don Newman and uh, John Klein uh, with us today. Um, fortunately for the South African media, there aren't any media in attendance. So what we are going to do is start off with English questions. Uh, and in the last 10 minutes or so, we will switch over to Afrikaans. Uh, if I can, please ask guys, can you just all switch off your microphones and raise your hands when you have a question and then um, and, and please ask one question so that we can give as many people as possible the chance to ask questions. And if there's time for a second, uh, we will switch over to, to, to you for that again. So, um, yes, uh, we'll send out the recording later. Without further ado, we could take questions. Nathan? Uh, thank you, Zina. Good day, gentlemen. Um, Don, I'll start with you. Um, obviously, I just want to go back to the announcement now. Before the World Cup squad was announced, I asked Dion Ferry what role will he be given, but he didn't give way too much detail. Now that the squad is announced, you have two out-and-out hookers. Will Dion fulfill the role of a third hooker role? And if so, when will he be tested at international test match level? Uh, because at the moment, we've got the trend of players being ruled out of the World Cup. I think it's a good question. I will... Well, I think most probably we look at Dion that can maybe play the same role as a Skulk um, in the past in the 2019 World Cup. So, and obviously he had played at a high level, obviously at Super Rugby level, he played at hooker as well. So he's capable of doing that. But uh, we are still, still, we still, we still have, have the option, option also, also to, to call, call um, 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 a guy like, like Joseph Weber in. Yeah, and um, uh, well, he's definitely still part of the the group of thirty eight players that's been announced. So yeah, um, he's only a flight away. So if we need him, we can always push on his button as well. Uh, any other questions? Please raise your hand. Lita. Thank you, Z. Hello, Don. Hi, John. Don, um, just, just for you, please. Um, you guys obviously mixed and matched around the, the front row, reasonably sorted and everything, but um, are you looking at the next two games to, to get things going in, in the scrum department as well with the guys? Um, it's been, uh, I, I don't want to say there hasn't been a reward, um, but I look at that Argentina game where, where, where the guys scrummed Argentina, but didn't necessarily get what, what you wanted. Do you feel this Wales game would, would be the perfect opportunity for that? Yeah, I think, as um, as I said in the past, I think we tried a lot of combinations and, like, we actually wanted to try to be fair to all the players and giving every, every guy a fair chance to make it into the group. And I think we played around with a couple of combinations, but maybe going forward we will maybe settle down and if 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 uh, yes, obviously, I mean, some games we get feeling sometimes very frustrated because there isn't a lot of scrums, so you don't have a, such a big influence as you would like to have on the in the game. But but um, coming back to your question, I think I think obviously we want to get the reward always. It's not always going our way, but uh, obviously uh, we'll see how it goes. Can you stop? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Zina. I'm um, Don, John. Um, guys, uh, good afternoon. I'm um, Don. When you look at the spate of injuries um, that took place across the weekend, I know that um, you will know through your career that injuries are pretty much part of the game. But um, does it set some sort of fear factor rolling that mm -hmm. um, in these in these games there are still significant uh, World Cup injuries that are taking place? I think if you look at all the other international franchises at the moment, I think in all the, I mean, all the countries, there's a lot of injuries happening at the moment as well. Like I think the French team just lost uh, in Tamak, their flyoffs, who was actually their, their first choice flyoff. So it does happen. And obviously to us as well, we've got one or two guys on the fringe coming back from injury, not in the group at the moment. We're still tracking them. So yeah, that will have an influence. But unfortunately, 
uh, this is games that should be played in preparation for the World Cup. So, yeah, I don't think we must fear, uh, have a lot of fear going into the games because we have got a good group. We've got a, got a lot of players. We can come, still come in. We haven't been in the group so far. So, yeah, I mean, it's part of the game. Unfortunately, it is part of the game, like you said. Percy? Thank you so much, Zina. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Um, Zina, before I ask my question, can I just ask John? John, just for later, um, do you speak any Afrikaans, sir? It's Afrikaans. Well, lekker, lekker. <laughs> <laughs> I just speak English well. It was the same WhatsApp group. But later. Dan, can I just ask you a question, Dan? While you're on that note of injury, sir, can I ask you, um, Jacques, I see Jacques Miram is on this, on, on, on this group as well, and it's not your, 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 probably your choice or your position to, to, to mention the team selection here, but I need to ask you about players like Sia Khaleesi, Oxen Che, and the likes of uh, Jaden Hendricks. He hasn't played any rugby this past season so far. Is there any pressure on you guys' leadership to give them game time in this well stage and possibly that all like this going into the World Cup? I don't think, I don't think there's pressure on us to, to do that. I think maybe that's a question that you should keep for later in the week for Jacques or Rassi to answer. But how can I say, we actually try to be fair to them as well and having them as well, getting them into a position to get in a better, how can I say, a stronger position to be, obviously, to be uh, considered for the first test in the, in the which is going to be Scotland. But yeah, um, as I said, let's uh, let Jock answer that one later this week. Okay. Thanks, Zina. How's it, gentlemen? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Jean, I mean, when we, yes. in one of the press conferences leading up to the rugby championship, you spoke about how uh, growing up you looked at people like Bucky's, and that's who he, you know, those are the guys that uh, influence your rugby and also where you want to go. But how has the last few months been for you? I mean, you're somebody who played for a different nation uh, four years ago, and now you're back in the Springboks realizing your dream of playing in the World Cup. But is this something that you even imagine possible in the last few months and leading up to this? Oh, absolutely not. Um, to be honest with you, I, like, it's actually quite coincidental. I was having a conversation with a mate of mine about four months ago saying that, you know, I, I've, I've sort of, I've had my chance at international rugby and that's probably the end of it now. Um, and that was my very realistic expectation of, um, you know my my path forward, and I was quite happy with it. Um, but you know, obviously the the call from Rassi was completely out of the blue. <laughs> I had no um, no prospects in my mind anyway of of ever playing for the Springboks again. Um, but yeah, look, an opportunity like this comes by, you can't really you can't really pass it off. And um, I think. To be fair, um, I think it's paid off so far. I've been very privileged to be part of, you know, South African national team representing my country. And I mean, I, I said it before, I think when you play for the Springboks, you represent hope to a lot of people. And to be part of something so special and so significant is, um, it's really been an honor. And in, uh, enjoying the uh, lovely Welsh summer weather down in Cardiff. But uh, now Dylan James here from Wales Online. Uh, nice to chat to you. So two two quick questions. So Jean, uh, as can kick off with you. Um, uh, what have you made of Wales so far? You see two tests against England. Um, look, I, I think they're a they're a different team than what anyone was going to expect from them. Um, but at the same time, you look at you know. If you look at how they performed in the URC, I don't think anyone was sort of rating them. But the the big thing about Wales is they they have all these individual players at their individual clubs, and when you bring them together under a guy, um, now, you know. Story for automatically create bearer tokens. That is now just automatically created. So when you log. I think it's still on mute. Zina, he's muted. He's on mute. 
it, the uh, I think you're still on mute. Zina, you muted. Okay, there we go. Guys, please could you switch off your microphones? Um, Kate, are you done with your question? No, I'm good. Thank you. I was just, we couldn't hear Jean when he was answering Dylan's last part of the question because he was muted. Oh, uh, apologies. Um, I don't know where I where I <laughs> where I was left, but um, you were saying basically about the URC. Sorry, it's about the URC, and then oh, yeah. they can't talk about that. So if you want to go from there, thank you. I think um, if you bring all these individual players together under a guy like Warren Gatland, um, you know that's you know that's a recipe for a for for a really good um, national side. So, you know, Wales have always been good and competitive um, on the international level, um, and you know, just from the two, two last games, um, I'd say arguably you have two very good results. You know, you've got a good win at home and then a very narrow loss away from home. So. Um, you know, obviously, it's a very threatening side, and we'll be looking to put in our best performance this weekend. Thank you very much for answering twice as well. But, uh, Dan, um, uh, second question to you. Um, so, uh, which Wales players have impressed you um, in the opening two test matches? Um, yeah, how can I say? Basically, the, the whole team's performance we were impressed by the whole team's performance because you think, if you think now, they had a good result last week and maybe this week as well. They got very close to have a good result as well. So I think actually the way they play, and we know also that, I mean, uh, uh, like John said, the team's been coached by Warren Gatlin. They're always, always very tough to play and they're always well, well prepared. So yeah, there's not really specific ones. We look at them as a team and they had a really good performance the last two weeks. Thank you very much. There's everything from me. Go well. Thanks. How's it, guys? Thanks, Zina. Um, Don, maybe uh, just for you, um, Wales has been the type of team that in the past, especially under Warren Gatland, has, has almost sort of taken you guys to the gutters. It's been very much an arm wrestle every single time against them. Um, do you expect that to be the same thing this coming weekend? Do you expect them to go back to almost to the with the Warren Ball type of play that they always try and play against you guys? Yeah, I think so, 100%. I think the way that they play, if you look back now, the last four or five times that we played against them in Wales, I think they beat us four times out of five, which I think I suppose they will definitely use that as a motivation. And then and then I think, you know what, it was always, like you said, it's a really an arm wrestle against them, the way they play. Uh, World Cup semi-final. We only got we only got it right in the very last four minutes when you got a penalty and beat them 1916. If you're referring back to them, so you know it's going to be definitely uh, a well coached team. They're well prepared. It's obviously, and they've been in a very very tough camp apparently. So yeah, I think they they're in fine form, and we definitely need to pitch up if we if we want to have some good results here. Ati. Um, thanks, Zina. Um, my question is uh, for John. Um, John, just how have you settled within the box um, setup? And just uh, also again, how is the synergy between the back row guys? And also, what are some of the targets that you want to hit um, this weekend against Wales? Um, well, I'd, I'd like to think I've I've settled in quite well. Um, I think you know other players and the coaches will probably be a better judge of that. But I I feel like I've integrated quite well into the squad. Um, I obviously I know a lot of the guys from back when I still played in South Africa. You know, guys like Dwayne, Kutsi, Franz. You know, I played with all of them. Dion. Um, I've played with Damien. Obviously, I've 
got a really good relationship with RG, um, play with him at Munster. Um, so, you know, I've I've been able to, to settle in quite well. Um, and, you know, to the second part of your question, I, I we don't really set, it, so set ourselves targets in terms of um, metrics per weekend. Um, I think for us, it's more just we want to impose ourselves as a as a pack um and i mean that's our that's our tactic all the time so there's there's nothing really specific that's changing for this weekend we're gonna we're gonna play our game plan and we're gonna try and pose ourselves and um yeah we'll see how they deal with that Percy? you know are you uh, are we allowed to ask off guns uh Percy, you can fire it's fine Thank you so much. Um, um, Dan, can I can, can I get this from Dan? Is it an African story with the opsum? Um, what hope you long wait to vote in your western city in Wales? And they look on it as a or by the means, see it as a upwarming western. But what for you as a as a very big group wait to vote in your western? For all an economist is in English genomic yield a par spillers what no western fucks me for. And in John, John, can I feel for an interesting English genomic? Um, Je vertelijk is een besonderse voorrecht voor jou om weer voor jou land uit te draaien voor alle bieren vlak bij wereldbeker. Wat schrijf je gewoon in dat gevoel voor jou nou die het eindelijk dat kool krijgt en nou om deel van die wereldbeker groep van Zuid-Afrika te wees? Maar dank je zien. Ja, ik denk wat ons wijs wordt natuurlijk wil ons in ons systeem wat ons het een plek in waar we ons op die stadium werk en wat ons doen. Hij wil natuurlijk beter worden en alles wat hij doet, hij de geluk sonder om na enig tak, taktiek te verwijs. Ek dink ons probeer rechtig waar hard na ons self, kijk op hierdie stadium, natuurlijk het ons hulle in acht genome, um, maar ek dink op hierdie stadium ons, ons focus op wat ons kan doen, ons focus letterlijk op die volgende oefening, en ons kijk nie heel te mal te ver in die wereldbeker al in nie, ons focus letterlijk op Wallis, ek dink Wallis is een topspan, ek dink as jy visies jy wil meet in een span in die wereld, dan moet jy het in hulle kan, kan meet, want hulle Hulle is een span, so jy sê, iemand het net nou verwijs na iemand, hy vat jou rechtig na die gatters toe, en hulle is een, hulle is een topspan, hy sal moet bereid wees om op te dag, die dag is die enige resultaat die in hulle wil hee. Um, van, my, uh, van my kant af net om, jy weet net, daar al wat ek vroeger gesê het, um, ek dink, vir my is het ongelooflik eer om deel te wees van die springboekspan, het was nie rarig iets wat op die kaart was vir my, paar maanden terug nie, en ek denk, sy my gevraag het toe, so ek vir jou gesê het, jy is laf, um, maar jy weet, hier is ek nou, um, jy weet, na raai oproep van Rasia, af, ek denk, is al 2,5, aan 3 maanden terug, en, jy weet, hier is ek nou, jy weet, ingeneem in die springboek groep, vir die wereldbeker, en, ek denk, in daai opzicht, is het, het is ongelooflike voorrag, om, my land, te verteenwoordig op die vlak, en, op die punt, Ek dink die springboek is een span wat hoop aan baie miljoene mens in Zuid-Afrika um, verteenwoordig en vir baie mense hoop gee. Um, waar is het goed gaan natuurlijk, maar ek dink vir die algemeen is dit net, dit, 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 is, a, dit is a punt op samenkomst, jy weet, uh, de, de flippen, jy, jy weet ek bedoel, um, maar ja, dit is net, ek dink is raar groot voorrecht om deel te wees van so iets wat so groot is vir so veel mense. Kan jy so? Thank you, Zina. Um, Jean, now that there's, there's still a fair, another, a bit of time to go for the, until to the World Cup, but as a player, how do you focus on a warm-up game as compared to a test match that, that will generally have a lot at stake? I... <laughs> I think it's very simple. Um, everything's at stake every weekend. Um, I don't think we can look at any game over the next, what's it, I think 10 or 11 weeks as just another game. Um, I think we, when you're playing for the Springboks at international taste level, like there's, there's no, oh, this is just another warm up game. Um, every weekend is, you know, the next biggest match of your life. Um, and I think that's the way it should be regarded, and I think that's the way it is regarded by my, by all the players. Um, you know, we don't have a lackadaisical um, kind of outlook on, oh yeah, this is just another warm-up game before the real competition starts. You know, this is almost this is this is the start of our World Cup, basically. You know, any any game from now onwards is, you know, it's it's 
It's the biggest game. Dylan, is that a free share? No, sorry, I just haven't put it down from before. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. Let's switch over to Afrikaans. We've got about nine minutes left. Lieten? John, um, Dan het vroeger daarvan gepraat oor, oor die beserings, maar, maar net in die, in die spelerskamp self, um, is daar enige gesprekke tussen julle om net vir mekaar te sê, um, yes, wees rustig daar oor, um, ons gaan uit om te speel, um, moet nie oor die beserings dink nie, ons weet is voor, voor kort voor een wereldbeker en julle het nog twee opwarmwedstrijde, maar is, is daar soort van die gesprekke tussen julle om net, net uit te gaan en te doen wat jullie moet doen en, en kalm te blij met die laatste twee wedstrijden? Wel, um, ek dink, om eerlijk te wees, dit is maar een beseringsmodel van rugby. Het is nie, ongelukkig is nou nie iets wat enige van ons kan voorspel of um, jy het eerst verbied nie, dit is maar net, dit is deel van die, dit is deel van die game um, en dit is maar realiteit in rugby. Mense gaan beserings opdoen en Jy weet, obviously, nou, natuurlijk is al gesprek het tussen ons en die, en die africhters net in die groter span om net te sê hoe die, die, die realiteit is van ons gaan beserings opdoen en dit is maar, dit is maar ongelukkig hoe rugby werk en een of twee van ons gaan uitval en dan is daar een groep van, jy weet, negen ouwens wat ook saam met ons paar het gewerk het en ook deel geworden van die groep en ook deel was van al die voorbereiding um, tot en met laas week en van hulle in hierdie week ook in. So, die volgende ouwens dan daar om, jy weet, om die fakkel te vat en aan te beweeg. Um, ek denk, elke ouge moet net sy best doen om die land te vertenwoordig, en dan daarna gaan het maar een kwestie wees van, as jy besering opdoen, dan is het maar ongelukkig volgende ouwe in die lijn. Um, en dit is maar hoe dit werk. By die vorige wereld, Beker het nog twee ouwe verloor, en so het die volgende ouwe ook ingetree, en sy werk vir die best van sy vermoog gedoen, en ons het, ons het met sukses uitgeloop, so, jy weet, een besering of twee besering, is het ook nie die einde van die wereld nie. Um, Ek denk, is dit belangrijk, dat allemaal weet, jy weet, hulle gaan elke naal vir hulle beste gee, gee nie om wat nie. Ja, plus jy kan plus gesal. Ons kan denk, is allemaal zine. Dan, um, Verens, ek verwacht nie, jy moet praat oor spankees as my nie, dit is natuurlijk zaakse as so verplichting dit, maar kan ek jou toch vraag, um, uit jou, in jou opinie, hoe lyk jylle kaptein op die oefenveld, is hy gereed, gereed om op toetsvlak ritbeel te speel, is hy gereed contact te maak? Ja, persie, weet jy wat, ons het eindelijk, ons het een spankaptein in basis, het ons dan nog, nog, nog ander kapteins ook in die span. So om na, om vir jou, ek sê, noodseker met wie verwijs jy, wat er een van die kapteins verwijs jy nie? Specifiek sê, kolisie, um, dan. Ok, um, um, ja, nee, uit laatste week het hy voluit saam te ons geoefen, en natuurlijk, kom my ook nie terug en speel 80 minuten sommer van die start af nie, maar, um, Ek dink, ek dink, Sia is in een baie goeie plek, hy het al die contacts gevat, en natuurlijk, wat vir my baie belangrijk is, hy het saam geskram, en sy alles daar gegeer, soos wat, uh, soos wat ons daar verwacht, so in my departement, is ek baie gelukkig met wat ek gesien het so ver, en hoopelik kan hy vir ons een groot bijdra uh, lever, en die nalk nie hierdie week, en dalk volgende week, mens weet nie wanneer gaan hy losgelaat word nie. Ek dink net, uh, dit is een van die type honde wat hy ou wil hee, uh, as hy dier losgelaat word. Thank you very much, guys. Well, thanks, Don and, and John. We'll be sending out the recording shortly. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Sterta. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. <laughs>